Hey Aries, I'm Crystal. We're going to do a love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? Only take what resonates for you. If it doesn't resonate, don't try to make it fit if it doesn't, you know, fit for you, okay? You have mixed signals. I literally just did a reading, right, for you guys, but I was stuttering on my words and this came out. So I definitely feel like this is a sign for you guys. Your person might be feeling like they are confused or maybe you're sending, giving them mixed signals. They're very unsure about like how things are going, but they're also making plans at the same time because you got plotting. So I feel like they're making some type of plan behind the scenes, probably to reach out or to figure out what it is that they want to do. But I feel like they're confused if they should even do it because they're feeling like they're not getting like they're not sure if you're like 100 percent like wanting this. It says that cloudy space between hot and cold is their way of telling you that they're not totally sure if they're into you or not. I feel like that's how they feel about you, though. So it's like they're not sure if they even have a, that you even have a space for them anymore. OK, it says they're they're stepping up their game to get your attention because they know that you have plenty of other options. So I feel like your person might be a little bit nervous, right? And maybe they feel like your energy is being taken away from them and they could feel that, right? If you're drawing or taking your energy away from them, you're not really focused on them anymore energetically, they could feel this. And I feel like that's making them worry. And now they're kind of like making a plan to kind of like speed up the process here, right? You have Taming the Beast. You made them putty in your hands and they know their old conquering ways will not work within you or work with you. So whatever they were, maybe they were like this wild child is what I just heard in my head, wild child. So I could see them like dating a lot of people or being very attractive, very like, you know, um, popular, right? And it's like maybe they liked the attention, right? And it's like since they've met you, I feel like they now all they can see is you, right? So it's like, I feel like you're helping this person to realize, like, maybe they actually want to settle down. I'm, I don't feel like they wanted to settle settle down before. But, like, I feel like since they met you, it's kind of like you're like a game changer is what I just heard as well. Um, You have hopeful. They're opening themselves to love, allowing themselves to dream and plan because you give their life meaning. See what I'm saying? But they're afraid that you're not into them anymore. They're afraid that you kind of walked away from them. Or even if you did walk away from them, it's like they're afraid that they're, you're not going to let them back. You have healing. They're at the end of a long healing cycle, coming to peace with their past and bringing back balance in the connection. And then you have a leap of faith. They did not expect this love to run this deep. They've, they're putting their pride aside and taking the leap of faith right underneath the Tame and the Beast. Like I told you, I feel like this person's kind of recognizing something in you maybe that they haven't found in other people and it makes them want to settle down you make them want to change their ways you make them want to you know be in a commitment i don't feel like this person really was ever really wanted to be in a commitment you got taming the beast so it's like they were always like running around this person that person doing this and that not caring who they're hurting you know but i feel like this person ever since they met you it's like now they their whole world is like turned upside down and it's like a massive change you have broken they feel broken inside and don't feel stable enough to trust themselves with your heart at this time be patient the reason why i'm saying be patient is because you got healing but they this person's not giving up hope okay they don't they think that you did but this person didn't didn't give up hope i'm gonna pull for my tarot card i wasn't gonna do that i was just gonna pull my oracle cards but we'll see you have the Six of Swords. They're so afraid that you done left them behind and that you're not coming back or you won't let them come back. This is like leaving rocky waters to go to calmer shores. So I feel like they thought, they think that you thought that they were too rocky and you're like, you know what, I'm not messing with this person. This person's so back and forth. This person's hurt me before. I don't want to go back to this person, right? So they think that you done left them. So what is, um, what's the sleep of faith here? That <laughs> emperor... You got Aries energy, you might be dealing with the Aries, but this is about taking action and putting your foot down and just doing it, right? Just working up the courage. You like you see where it said, um, I feel like where the hell was it? I feel like they're working up the courage to come and like freaking reach out to you. You have the devil, you could be dealing with Capricorn. I got Aries, I got Capricorn right here. But I feel like this person with this energy, you got somebody might be in a karmic relationship at the moment, okay? Um, maybe they were in a relationship and didn't tell you, um, but it's like this person also may be leaving something that's rocky to go to something that's easier. But I feel like since they met you, it's like they don't want a chance to, to lose you. You have the, so let's clarify that. The Magician, Aries again. Aries Capricorn is strong. 
and then the five of cups they're trying to manifest you back because they lost you they do regret what it is that they've done and they can't forget the fact that how things went down I feel like this plays over and over in this person's head and this person feels really bad for what it is that they've done um, maybe they feel like you think that they're too toxic and that you will never give them another chance because they maybe you feel like they may feel like you're a manipulator or maybe you maybe you feel like they're a manipulator sorry um, they're a liar they like to pull tricks up their sleeve right or they have tricks up their sleeve the devil is about temptation the magician can be like a liar manipulator Somebody that can, you know, pull the wool over your eyes, that type of thing. But, yeah, the Queen of Cups, they're healing their heart. They're healing themselves. The healing card, the Queen of Cups, they're definitely trying to find balance within themselves. But they're not telling you. They're not very good at expressing their feelings. They're not very good at expressing how they feel. They keep it all on the inside, which is, like, not very good, right? Because then it kind of leaves you guessing, like, and that's never a good place to be. But you have the high priestess. I feel like spiritually and intuitively and telepathically, you guys are like connected. And it's like no matter what you guys do, it's like still that energy, that cord is still attached. I don't know if you guys ever did a cord cutting or whatever, but I feel like that cord is still attached. And if you want this person to go, you might have to do some type of cord cutting, even though I don't really I don't really deal with magic. My daughter does, but um, and spells. But with the high priestess, I feel like this is a very strong spiritual connection. It's just somebody stuck in some type of toxic cycle, toxic relationship, toxic friends or family, and it's like really hard for them to get out. And they might not even be seeing it as the, as her eyes are closed, right? And so is this one. <clears throat> what else? Clarify the emperor. What are they taking action towards the lovers? They're taking action towards reaching out and telling you how they feel. Um, you have Gemini now, okay? But I feel like they're reaching out, taking a step forward to tell you that they still love you. You have the Five of Swords and they can't get you out of their head. Like, no matter what you do, you're in their head. Even if you go, even if they go places, I feel like they hear your name in songs. I feel like they, they see your name in different places, you know what I mean? Or they just hear it in their head all the time. It's like they can't get you out of their head. And Spirit is doing that on purpose because this person done you wrong. And it's like now this person is going to keep on receiving their karma. So it's like they're going to constantly be reminded of you because if they really want you then they need to realize what they what it is that they need to fix in order to come back to you in a healed way you have the king of pentacles definitely could be dealing with the earth sign here or gemini um or another aries but i definitely feel like this person has a lot of work this person might be very responsible um let's clarify the king of pentacles the king of pentacles can be somebody who works so much that they don't have enough time for like family love relationships like, I feel like they want to free themselves. This could be a wish granted here as well. Clarify the King of Pentacles. The Eight of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so, you know, the Five of Swords is here and the Lovers and the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Like, come on. Even though I do see that this is a very spiritual connection here. There was the High Priestess, right? This is a very spiritual connection, but there's some somebody who's stuck somebody who's stuck and stuck in the mind like maybe like this could be this person that's stuck saying that they don't deserve another chance or you're never going to give them another chance this might be playing through their head keeping them back from really reaching out okay but i do feel like this person somebody might be stuck in another relationship too like i said in a toxic relationship in a karmic relationship here yeah i just seen the three of pentacles too so it could be definitely a third party here so what's coming what are they when are they going to reach out let's do that <clears throat> the knight of swords this is pretty quick energy okay this is a fast card but this is also a card of not jumping into things too quickly without thinking them through okay and don't chase anything okay you don't need to chase anybody if somebody wants you they'll come after you you don't need to chase them Wow. I've seen the Seven of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, the Six of Wands. Something is being finalized here. Somebody may be walking away from another relationship because they've been betrayed or backstabbed too many times and they're just done and over with it. They're tired of being drained. And you have, you could be dealing with an Aquarius too, but you have the Six of Wands. It's like, I feel like 
they're going to be reaching out pretty quickly. I do feel like it's going to be pretty quickly, and this is something you've been hoping for, but this is going to come when everything's in alignment, okay? But I feel like it's getting aligned pretty quickly because I feel like your person feels like they're running out of time. So this is why they're kind of like trying to speed up the process here, right? They're, I feel like now they're trying to chase you, right? So that's what I got for you guys. If you guys like my content, please like and subscribe. It helps other people to be able to see my... Um, content matter of fact i'm gonna pull one more card for you guys as well um just to you know see what else is going on here You have gossip. There's a lot of gossip that surrounds this relationship that is affecting not only their judgment, but their vision too. There might be people talking shit on this relationship. There might be people that are against this relationship trying to stop this from working. Now, stop this from actually um, working and like for you guys to be connected. And if this is the case, this could be a karmic. Maybe the karmic knows about it. If they don't know about it, maybe they feel this. And they feel like the other person wants to leave. So they're like kind of like starting shit. You know, I feel like they could be putting stuff in your head like nobody's ever going to want you. And you can you never get no better than me. And you have temptation. Each day gets harder and harder to resist. What they know in their heart to be true, they see you as their forbidden fruit. So this person, I definitely feel like there's a third party here. Because their person feels like they can't have you. Maybe this is the reason why they're plotting and trying to be sneaky about it. And they're confused. Maybe they think that you're going to be sticking with this person. Maybe you think they're going to be sticking with their person. Take it how it resonates. But you got lustful desires. There's a difference between love and lust. Don't let your desire destroy you. Overcome the spirit of lust. So there might be some obsession here as well. Don't let it get to a negative part. Don't let it be something that takes over you. You know, healthy love is what we want. And yeah, so that's what I got for you guys. I hope you guys have a good day. You take care and stay safe. Toodles.